Well, I just had a birthday, mm. my 21st birthday. Oh, <laughs> so we celebrated in Miami. Okay. Did so, you, wait, man. Because you, I know you're 21, <laughs> but now nah, you're a little older to be hanging out on South Beach. You weren't on South Beach, right? Yeah, we was on South Beach. Oh, come Beach. on. What? Were you with the kids on South Beach? They were, there were no kids. That's all it is on South Beach. No, no, yes. no, no, no. Grown we, folks go. We go to the, the, the Wailing Walls. The, we go to the Art Deck. We go to the Art Center in Miami. Oh, that's please. What, that's what grown folks Whatever. Go. No, we wanted tans. We was at the beach. Yeah, we was turning up with the kids. Turning up, having fun. And, but, I mean, I was on social media, and I saw you two somewhere at a beach. So where were you? I was with some grown folks. I was in... Uh, I was in uh, the Cayman Islands. Oh, yeah. okay, the Cayman Islands. You're exactly. international. I, I got my passport stamped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't old national. I'm international. I keep in, oh lord! <laughs> Did Cayman you go anywhere Island. this week? The Cayman Islands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how very posh. <laughs> He's like, I was on set. I was working. <laughs> yeah. I was making money. Working, yeah. Right. Yeah. I was working too, though. Nah, actually, worked, I, right. I, I was on the belt line. <laughs> <laughs> Exercising. I haven't been yet. I really need to go. You never been on the belt line? Yeah. What? Like bike riding and those kinds of things. Oh, I've never done yet. Belt line is dope. Yeah. But this has been uh, another crazy week. I mean, you know, Kim Kardashian. Well, first of all, rest in peace to Kate Spade. You guys heard? I heard yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. She committed suicide. And I didn't. Yeah. That's what. She, okay. I didn't hear what happened. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so that's um, that's terrible. That's that's terrible horrible, tragedy. That's, um, that's she left her thirteen-year-old daughter. Yeah getting divorced. Well, that's what happened? That's what they say. What I they mean, say. she left a note. How did she yeah. kill herself? She, she hung herself. herself. Oh. I don't, I'm, I'm, I know this is not maybe not an appropriate time, but I just think when you, when you do that, it's kind of selfish as well. Well, the thing, there's, it's mental illness. It is mental it's, illness. It's a real disease. It's a real sickness. It's not anything, this is according to Whitney. I who, can't who judge. Found <laughs> who found her? Well, uh, they say her housekeeper, housekeeper found, her, found her, right? right. But House then there was a report addressed to her daughter. Right, she, she has a thirteen-year-old like, daughter. Her daughter would have found her and said, "Her daughter was at school." Daddy in it. She said, "It's not your fault. Yeah. I love you, ask, ask daddy." daddy. Oh so, and her husband, they were strange, but he was home. So, but you know, she. she that's like uh, she could have been Don on the West Cornelius Wing. killed himself, and he, and he blew his brains out. Like, who, now what if I come in and see that? Now I'm traumatized the rest of my days. Right. It's sad, but yeah. mental illness is real, and you guys watch the show 13 Reasons Why? I haven't. I haven't because I... Who's working? I, I, heard, <laughs> I don't know, just suicide and that, that kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. It would just make me sad. Have you, mm. Honestly, but have, it's you, real. have you ever thought of, thought of, has it ever crossed your mind? No, but I have been depressed, but I've never felt like that. Um... Why? Oh, we're just living the lie. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, don't mind That's me. That's very <laughs> creepy. <Yeah. laughs> living the lie. Oh, wow, <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> I'm not expecting anything less from Lucius, though. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I would assume you never. That's never crossed your mind as well. Uh, as a teenager, I think sometimes if we're in a certain space, like I knew the thought has crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, but. But not to the point of be like, yo, okay, I'm, I'm doing this. But I, I, I think that's very typical for most teenagers. And if you're, if like for myself, I didn't get along with my, with my father so much. So you, you start having these thoughts of, maybe uh, he'll miss me when I'm gone. Right. You know what I mean? At that's least that's 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 what it was for me. And mm -hmm. I, I think that's how it is for, for, for most teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's not so much something you really want to do, but it's like you just want to feel loved at the end of the day. True. Yeah. Very she true. Was, but she was there. She's like grown. She's an older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, older people are doing it. We see it year after year mm -hmm. after year. These celebrities, yeah. success um, is not guaranteed no, no, no. happiness. It's not. So. Yeah, money. The money don't make you, you happy. Gotta you got to be grounded and happy before you get some money. Right. You can appreciate. So there's it. these a lot of memes going around. Check on your loved ones. Check on your people that you know are strong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you Today, just turned check on me tomorrow. <laughs> just turned twenty one. <laughs> you know. So. You know. Uh, okay. What so else? um, let's see. A lot going on. Uh, speaking of suicide, you remember Fresh Prince of Bel Air, right? Mm -hmm. You know there were two Aunt Vivs. Right. Who's your favorite Aunt Viv? Well, the first one didn't <laughs> get a long enough time. She was on for a couple seasons I guess a now. Couple yeah. of seasons, so right? I, I, right, Shane? Yeah. She was yeah, on for a few seasons, seasons now. I mean, I don't know. So okay, Janet Hubert, she's the first Aunt that's Viv. The that's the dark skin, dark -skin, Viv. skin right. Aunt Viv. So yeah. you know she was fired, that's what she says, mm -hmm. she was fired mm -hmm. by Will Smith, and she really like 
hates Will Smith yeah, to this does. day. Yeah. Yeah. So let it go. she listen, she just tweeted like something to Will Smith and they deleted it, but apparently it's something like, You win Will, my son is in the hospital, wow. attempted Ooh. suicide. Attempted She's suicide. Blame it on Will She's Smith. blaming Will Smith because of the lies let and the rumors. Go. So move, what do you think? She move should let on. It go. She's she's been off the show how long now? The show's been mm-hmm. off how right. long now? Right. You know what I mean? Twenty years. Move you know what I'm saying? Some, some things you just gotta you gotta, you gotta, gotta let it go. <laughs> <laughs> gotta let it go. No, but if you, if she thinks that she's really been like blackballed, not getting work, like Monique, kind of like Monique. Yes, that that's what she said. Her? Yes. And Will Smith at that time was very powerful. I mean, he's very powerful now, but at that time, number one show. Those people who have those hit shows have power. Yeah, they do. They do. So. I don't know. You could still take your celebrity and do other things. Again, you could, she could have got on a ghetto gospel play <laughs> toward the country. <laughs> Tyler Perry would have hired her in a heartbeat. Come on, man. Get some minstrel show. Yeah, oh, she could have done anything. Oh, oh, oh. God, get this nigga off me. Coming to the farm. But no, check it out. Her son, she said, was in the hospital, attempted suicide. What about her son, though? Maybe he feels like all these years he's been made fun of because her mom got kicked off the show or whatever. We don't know. Nobody right, knows Shane? your mom. Who? Yeah, you never no, know. I, disagree. I mean, or what? What if she's the one that's always talking about it in yeah, the home? Yeah, she won't let it go. Now he and she won't let, let it go. So he don't have to hear it. No you know what I mean? But she's probably <laughs> depressed. That's real. Let it go. How, How long are you gonna be How depressed? How she gonna let it go? She's How long are you gonna be depressed? Come on, man. Because I know depression is a serious thing, mm-hmm. and 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 unless you're in that space, you you can't really that's put yourself in somebody's shoes. But I'm Have you saying, ever been depressed? But I'm like, saying, but that's a long time. Like, but holding on to something and not letting go is something else. That's true. Yeah, I, 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 I've never been in that space. I had a cousin who had a, a boyfriend who broke, who she broke up with, and he was, he came to a party she was at and blew his brains out in the backyard. What? Yeah, like talk about wouldn't let it go. So she broke up with him, and he was depressed the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Um, yeah. So he got his attention. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Kim Kardashian, everybody was in an outrage because she was able to meet with Donald Trump, our president, about prison reform. Prison reform. But everybody was upset. But how about, um, let me read exactly. Alice Marie Johnson was freed from prison, so her mission was accomplished. That's what Kim Kardashian wanted because this lady, Miss um, Johnson, she was serving life imprisonment for a nonviolent crime. Okay. Like it was... You know, cocaine, possession of cocaine, that kind of thing. Yeah. She was 63 years old, and she was she was let out. What is the word? She was um, commuted. Commuted, right. Right. Okay. So what do you think about that? Like Kim Kardashian, the well, reality let's, star. Let's first, I okay. want to I I first give Kim Kardashian her props for that. I okay. Mean, to get somebody out who didn't deserve to be in prison I think is dope. And mm-hmm. I'll, get, I'll even give Donald Trump his props for letting it happen. But that one, one, what's one? It's, not this, it's but thousands the point about of it us is in jail there that are, are And they've been trying to, you know, get her commuted for a while. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's a political thing. Well, so so, so if, if how ta- is Kim Kardashian, is it, is it stardom? Is it celebrityism? Like, what is it that... It's the ass. Her ass, her <laughs> ass gets, her ass gets well, prisoners you, commuted. <laughs> well, you're watching a reality show go down, really. Right now, right? Yeah, right now. Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump, you know, and hey, we freed a person. <laughs> you know, our you, ratings you know are going to go up. Do you, do you, you, know do you, do you mean? give tr- Donald Trump his props, or is it always no, well, to get Donald is, Trump? It's it's. I give props when props are due for something, but like I said, one person just it's not enough. It's it's nowhere near enough because but we know so right. It's the beginning, but are you doing anything for policy That's in regards problem. to yeah. that? See if they just commute her. Now, what about I mean, all you? The other you go people? to right. state of Colorado. It's, it's hundreds and thousands of people, black people locked up for. Weed possession, and now yeah. weed is legal. Right. They're still in jail. Yeah. That's crazy. Shouldn't they be let out? Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we need to go on social media and go to, I mean, how many followers does Kim have? Like 112 million or something like Don't that. Retarded. Yeah. Somebody can, yeah. Can, can somebody look yeah. that up? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Wait, how many followers does Kim Kardashian yeah. have? Like, that's, that's power. You're, you're, on, you're on Instagram right now. Yeah. Just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on because we have an amazing guest that we want to talk. How much? 112 million. 112 million. And only got one person commuted? (laughs) (laughs) It's 12 million. I'm in jail. She's setting it up for Kanye to run for president. That's all. Oh, is that what it is? You think that's a real thing? 
Oh. Yeah, I hope not. Where are you from, Lucius? New York. Born and raised. Queens, New York. Queens. Queens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Represent Queens. You represent. She was raised out of Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, I'm from That's Brooklyn. That. <laughs> yeah, I see how that worked out. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's talk about Facebook because we're talking about social media. Facebook is in a little bit of trouble, which they've been in trouble for, you know, a couple months now. Mm -hmm. But they're selling data to, like, Apple and, you know, mm -hmm. Samsung, these China companies, phone companies. They're selling data. How do we feel about that? What's the what's the purpose then? What's the issue with them selling data? I mean, you want them to have all your oh. information? They already like, have it. Yeah, yeah, see, that's it's, the way I feel. It's emotional. Like, if you, you're boat, sad about boat, something. That boat sailed a long time ago. <laughs> so you don't care? No Even if I do care, is the, what, what am I going to do? I, Petition. The only way to get off is get off the grid. I mean, unless you want to get off the grid, I don't think I'm getting off <laughs> the grid. There's a video going around of, like, what life would be without, like, so Facebook and Instagram, social media, and it's, like, so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Can you live without social media? Are you, like, a, into social media like that? I mean, uh, social media, as, uh, uh, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot live. While he's holding his phone. I, I can absolutely live without social media. <laughs> uh, uh, stay tuned. This is a really good video. Um, no, but, but see, remember that post that was going around on Facebook? I do not give authorization for anybody to use my information. Remember yeah, that yeah, yeah, thing yeah, that was yeah, going yeah. around? I'm like, you're online. You're on <laughs> social media. They already got you, like you were saying. They got you already. What are you talking about? So we shouldn't be worried. It's no big deal. It's they already got your information. Mm, no, I don't. I don't. I feel like that's an invasion of uh, privacy. Like, right? Some well, are like, well, no. Well, it is an invasion, but they already got you. So what there's nothing we can do. This well, listen, they sold it, and listen to all these all these different places that are being hacked, mm. like for credit cards and all these other things. Yes. It's happening to a bunch of corporations. They have your information. One of the born identities, I, I think it may have been the last one. That's mm. what it was about. It's like 25 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a reborn idea. Yeah, reborn, right. <laughs> reincarnated. But the, they had a character on there. He was supposed to be like the head of one of these Facebook, Instagram things. Mm -hmm. And he was going back and forth behind the closed doors with the government. Basically, the government was, we want all this information. We'll give you Blake all this money for mm -hmm. information. And he wound up getting killed. And so that was, mm -hmm. it was deep. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Data is important, right, Rolando? Data is important. And that's data why is important. That's, <laughs> that's his that's business. That's data. Why, that's why they're selling it. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. Let's go on that snapshot real quick. Snapshot. So here we gotta go. <laughs> snapshot. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Ice Cube responded to a fan on Twitter about Friday the movie and said, "They're writing the script right now. Mm -hmm. Do we want to see another Friday? Why not? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why not? Yes. How many are there? Two? Three. It's three. It's Friday. It's three. Next Friday. Friday at the next. Oh dang. What they gonna call this? I think it's gonna we call it the last Friday. Yeah, the last right, Friday. Right, yeah. Last Friday. Yeah. Do we want um, what's his name? Who? Chris Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker. Yeah, I mean, we, he we, doesn't want to do it. We would want him, but yeah. is he gonna do it? That's the yeah. question. Right. Maybe Everybody we need some new him. folks like DC Ooh. Young Fly or Sean Larkin. <laughs> <Nick> <Cannon. laughs> <Sean Larkins. laughs> somebody really, really funny, <laughs> right? Really, Sean? really, really funny. <laughs> but they need somebody young though. What the? Heck? <laughs> 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 oh, what about my man on IG? He roasts people all the time, man. DC Black. DC Michael Blackston? No, no. There's DC another guy Black. now. There's another guy now. And he'd be like, own baby. I'm about to that. bring you to your roast you on your own barbecue. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. You had to pull He's that one up. Yeah. He's hilarious. Can you okay. pull that one up for us? Uh? But she don't have nothing to go by. Aw, oh, baby. <laughs> own baby. Google, aw, oh, baby. Own, own baby. <laughs> own, O-N. All right, baby. another one real quick. Ava DuVernay and Colin Kaepernick, they team up for a TV series about his high school years. Nice. That's pretty dope. I okay. think so. Uh, Colin don't need football no more. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a good football player. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say he's a great football player. He's, he's good. He's going to get in the movie business. I mean, Barack and Michelle getting in the movie business. Why not? Why not? He don't need football no more. He yeah. He's going to be. But he's a football player. That's all he's ever done his whole life. So. But he's about to get in the, the movie business. He Making him ahead of our own league. Movie business ain't football money. Yeah. Football money come real yeah. a lot mm -hmm. easier than mm -hmm. Tyler yeah. Perry mm -hmm. yeah. making some good money, don't you think? Yeah, because he's at the top of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you just got to be at the top of your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You might be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be happy. At the end of the day, yeah. be happy. Um, what else? Michael B. Jordan recently stated that he only auditions for roles that are written for white males. Smart. Mm. Smart? 
Yeah. Talk to us about that as an actor. No, I'm just saying it, it's smart because you don't want to be put in a box. I mm-hmm. mean, a lot of times just because of skin color, we're put in a certain box mm-hmm. when we're looking at certain roles. And then we also know that a lot of those roles are written by <laughs> non-blacks. And so <laughs> you, you, you're portraying something. But I, I think to get out of that box, uh, I think it's smart. Well, he's fortunate enough to be able to he say can, and do yeah. that. He like, can, but he, t- he said you, it was Are you going to do that? I, I, man, I'm going to work. I, 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 that's what I'm doing. I'm right. like, I don't care what you call African American, <laughs> you know, Asian man. He said it at whatever. the Fruitville Station, though. Yeah. Fruitville Station. He said audition. So he, I don't think he had to audition for Wakanda. Black Panther. Yeah. yeah. I'm only taking Puerto Rican roles. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, every black male role, 18 to 40 years old, is trying to go after that role. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I want to play Janelle Monet. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll see. Um, and then 13 Reasons Why got renewed for a third season. No, so what is that one? That's, that's the, the suicide. suicide. It's, suicide. suicide. it's not the glorification sure? of suicide. No. Have you watched it? I've never watched it. Okay, so have you watched it? Yes. You felt like it's glorifying? You well, watched season one? Well, I heard about it. Oh, please <laughs> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> right. No, you got to watch it. I, Whitney, yeah. right? It's amazing. Yeah. My daughter watched it. She says she loved it. Okay. So I think I'll, kids I'll need to out. watch it. It's I'll a lot of it. like con- um, controversy over it, but I think kids need to watch it. You feel it's touching on the truth about the matter. Absolutely. Okay. You think kids nowadays are soft? Mm, yeah. I think they're more emotional and more like, um, I guess soft is a word. Like just... They're not tough because everything is out there for them, their access. Yeah, because, I mean, when I was getting up, it, bullying was just a part of life. Mm-hmm. I, like, you need bullying. I think bullying was necessary. Like, Were you bullied or were you Yeah, bullied? I was bullied. Yeah. You said yeah, no? Who Summer's like, no. And she's no, our but, millennial in the, in the building. No, no but. She's not millennial. Bullying That's I generation. I. Yeah. They do build character. also kill themselves because they get bullied. Because they don't handle it. Well, it, well my, my but why? It's the parents, though. What are we and doing wrong? I used to get bullied by this dude at Howard Jr. Look down the street. You still know his name. I still know his name. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Jr. He was six foot tall <laughs> and he had a green eye. Let me tell you something. My, I went home. My grandmother did not let me in that door. She said, "You're taking your butt down there and you fighting." So you told your grandma you was bullied? Yeah, she knows I was getting bullied. Mm-hmm. I had to go down there. Now I ain't gonna lie. I didn't win. But the dude never bothered me again. Okay, you stood because, up for yourself. Because if you if, if you coddle being bullied, then what you gonna do when you get grown? Because now you're grown, you're being bullied at at work mm. by your by your supervisor, by your boss. How you don't and now you don't know how to handle it because your mom was always there, your parents were always there to coddle you when you're being bullied. Now you now you don't deal with real life mm. because you you're not gonna get a you're not gonna get a placement award at job. It sounds good, you Sean, but you, it's there's a reality of the situation award? is. <laughs> you, got ki- you got kids, what do you think? All right, here's what I think. All right, there, it's a different time, though. Okay. Yes. Because, yeah, you may have got bullied by one guy. You may have got bullied by a couple of people, but you didn't get bullied by the, the internet. internet. Can't, that's can't the, you that's cut the, the internet. Internet. You're ugly, you're ugly, yeah, you're, ugly you're ugly, you're ugly, you're that's, ugly, that's, you're ugly, you're ugly. Can't you cut it off? insane. Yeah, Why? But what, what kids are. They're not Why cutting it off. Why do you have off. to cut it off? You know but what, I mean? what if you're ugly? <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> it, okay, but if you're ugly, there's some it's ugly kids out for, there. For but for a million people to come in and say that to you, you know what I mean? That's, that's a tax. That's, that's, that's abuse. That's just rude. That's not that's rude. Get, bullying get, is get, never get, okay, get, especially get, in today's world. It's a different time, and they don't fight anymore. Yeah, that's true. Kids they are not do, like they do fight. I've watched World yeah. Star Hip Hop. They still yeah, fight. Starting to fight again. No, they, but like in scrapping. schools at three o'clock. I'm gonna meet you at three o'clock in, at the at the whatever line. Listen, my school was it yeah. was on. No? But you were right though about <laughs> about having like having a fight and then um, I remember there was this guy named Black. He was straight out <laughs> of prison. Me, you remember your he was straight out of prison in and high I remember, school. And no, uh, I, I, I was well. He was older, so he was out of high school. But he kept messing with my brother. You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. who, who was older, mm-hmm. but you know. Um, and I said something to him. I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, so, <laughs> but it's, it's family, you know. And he was like, "What you gonna do, little nigga?" You know what I mean? And I was like, "Yo, what's up? What's up?" And we scrapping him, tagging him too. Bow, bow, bow. Yo, yeah, and I was like, "Why did he grab me finally?" <laughs> and, and that, that was, was it. Little. That was, was it. I, that was it. But you know what? He never, like you said, he never bothered us again. Exactly. Well, we have people online saying, where is Shane? Where is Shane? Well, she's coming up right after this. Do not go away. We have an amazing guest. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. (laughs) 
Before I was getting in trouble with Uncle Phil, I was in trouble with Uncle Sam. Me and Jeff had come out with our smash hit, Parents Just Don't Understand, we made a bunch of money, we won a Grammy, album was triple platinum. I had motorcycles and cars. I called the Gucci store in Atlanta, and I was like, hey, will y'all close it down if I bring my friends? And I'm smiling, but that's stupid. We released our next album, and it was like a flop. It was a tragedy. It went like double plastic. I had spent most of my money, like all of I spent all my money. And I didn't forget, but I didn't pay the IRS. In my mind, I mean, I wasn't like trying to avoid paying taxes. I was just like, oh damn, they need their money. The IRS took all, took all that stuff. So I was like, broke, broke, broke. Being famous and broke is a shitty combination. Cause you're still famous and people recognize you, but they recognize you while you sitting next to them on the bus. And the stuff they ask you to sign on a bus, you know, like, oh, can you sign my baby? That's a Sharpie. I, I probably shouldn't just write on the baby with that. Oh, you too big to sign my baby. Well, no, nah, I mean, you know, so I signed it. So I was like laying around and my girlfriend was like, dude, we're not doing this. Like, you're not just going to be laying around this house all day. You're going to go do something. And I was like, what? What am I supposed to do? Go where people is is doing it. Wh where are people doing it? Go to the Arsenio Hall show. Just go stand around at the Arsenio Hall show. Yes. That's stupid. Bring it up. So I went to the Arsenio Hall show and I met a dude named Benny Medina. Benny Medina is the real life Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, except he actually went from Watts to Beverly Hills. Same basic concept, way shorter distance. I meet Benny and he pitches me the idea for this show and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not an actor. I'm like, cool. And he says, hey, you know, I want you to meet Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones is producing with me. So I find myself at Quincy's and there's actors and artists and celebrities and politicians, it's like everybody's at Quincy's house. It's like the whiz without the costume. So Benny walks me in and introduced me to Quincy. I'm like, hey Q, what's up, man? He said, like, hey man, you know, I saw your music videos. I love, I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Tell me your rap name again. They call me the Fresh Prince. All right, good. That's what we're gonna call the show. And he handed me a screenplay for a failed Morris Day pilot. Like, I don't have the time. So I need you to do this. I need you to go ahead, take a few minutes, take 10 minutes, study the script, and I'm gonna I'm clear all the stuff out the living room, and we're gonna have everybody sit down in the living room, we're gonna do an audition. He had movers that could reset his furniture. I was like, this dude is real. So it goes out, tells everybody, come on, come on, come on. And I was like, hey Q, hold up, man, hold up. I'm not ready to do no audition. And he's like, oh, all right, all right. All right. Uh, well, what you need? Tell me what you need. Just set the meeting for a week and I could do it. He said, yeah, yeah, you know, Brandon Tartikoff, the head of NBC, is out there. I'll get him to schedule for next week. And then you know what's gonna happen? Something gonna come up and then he's gonna have to reschedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, so three, so three weeks from now, Q, we can do it three weeks from now. I said, yeah, 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 three weeks from now be good. Or you could take 10 minutes right now and you can change your life forever. And I was like, Fuck it then. Yes, give me 10 minutes. I said yes, and I let it rip. And I got to the end and everybody is clapping. Quincy looks at Brandon Tartikoff, the head of NBC. Did you like it? And Brandon said, yeah, yeah, I liked it. Quincy says, no, did you like it? And he's like, yeah, I liked it. He's like, good, you're his lawyer. Draw me up something right now. Damn, Quincy ordering other people lawyers around. <laughs> like, that's his lawyer, Quincy, leave that man alone. And Quincy turned to me and he was like, hey, Will, you got a lawyer? Quincy, I'm broke. If I had a lawyer taking 5%, he'd owe me money right now. He was like, all right, and he turned to his assistant. He was like, get Will a lawyer. Quincy had been drinking. You know, it's probably obvious from the story, but he had been tasting. He, he had wet his beak a little bit that night. Yeah, so the lawyers go out in the limo and they're drawing up the first deal for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Quincy is like popping up at the window. No paralysis, do analysis. No paralysis, do analysis! I'm like, how did he make Thriller like this? So we got the lawyers draw up something. Ken Hertz looked it over for me, Brandon Tartikoff, and we took a picture and we signed the, the, the basic deal for the Fresh Prince. And three months later, we were shooting the pilot 
And that's the story of how I became the Prince of Bel-Air. So the moral of the story is always say yes, and I guess listen to your girlfriend. <laughs>
Because it's popping. Look at yeah, Atlanta yeah. right now. Yeah. It's like, right? <laughs> everything you can do in Hollywood, you can truly do here now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, breaking, being someone new, although I've been in the business, being behind the scenes producing and writing is new for me. Atlanta's a little smaller, so it was easier for me to kind of get my foot in the door here. But what urged you to want to get behind the camera? It just really happened. Yeah. I mean, it just, I was writing with a group of actresses. We couldn't really, you know, get a lot of roles. So mm -hmm. we decided to create our create own your roles, own. you know, create a group, a group own. of working own. actresses, African-American actresses in L.A. And we started writing our own stuff. And mm -hmm. I was like, hey, this is, you know, it's happening pretty easy for me. It was just really felt natural. Mm -hmm. It felt good. And it was like, this is what I was meant to do. Yeah, because writing, you, I would think you're like, can I write? Do I know what I'm doing? So you I guess you, I mean, I've read so many scripts mm -hmm. and stuff and performed. So it's like I said, a natural transition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So what exactly are you doing here? I know you're producing, creating content. Right. Do you, are you, at a, do you have your own production company? Yes, I do, but okay. I work with other production companies. I have a executive produce my own show for Revolt TV. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked on a lot of Bobcat films, projects. Um, I just worked on a TV One movie that comes out in the fall. I have a, a documentary on dancers that's yes. coming out yes. in the fall. It's great. Yes. It's called I And I Danced. Okay. Yes, I, I wrote that yes. down. And I Danced. And, and I, I Danced. danced. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I knew what was going to say. I knew what was going to say. Tell us about documentaries, though, because oh. we actually were going to think about doing a documentary, and it just seems like it's so – is it a long process because you have to get all this footage? It is. Yeah. It is. And documentaries are pretty much like a labor of love. You mm -hmm. should really be passionate about, you know, the That's documentary and what you're doing mm -hmm. because it is time-consuming. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of work, and it takes time. Yeah. It's just, just not something you can film like a film. Okay, uh, two weeks, and it's done. It's you really have to follow someone's lives, get into their lives, and really learn about them. So. Okay, well now we ask this of people all the time. What what do you how do you feel about the talent in Atlanta as compared to New York and L.A.? Mm -hmm. To be honest, like, because we've heard that people in Atlanta are cool, but they're not as hungry. The hunger's not there. Um, yeah, it, it's I've seen people, you know, I've been around people and they've been talking about that recently, how Atlanta really doesn't get its props. And Atlanta, a lot of success, we have all these rappers and entertainers coming out of Atlanta, and we still don't really talk about them like we do people from L.A. or New York. There's so many talented people here. Mm -hmm. um, all of these young people, these rappers, I know people call them mumble rappers <laughs> and this and that, but they're doing really well and they're yeah, very they can successful. They all they want, but they, they, but they do know how to hustle. Yeah. They do know how to hustle, <laughs> right? You and you have a lot of great producers, music producers. Will I, was it Mike Will made it? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. A lot of talented young people coming well, I mean, out of Atlanta. I was asking as far as acting goes, as far as acting, I mean, what, what are you doing differently? Well, you know, there's. Um, you have a better opportunity here. It's a, you know, it's not a lot of competition. Like in LA, yeah. you're going out as an actress. I'm going out a, on roles against Gabrielle, this <laughs> one, that one. Right. Here in Atlanta, you probably have a better chance yeah. of booking a role because you don't have the competition yeah. like right. you do yeah. in Los Angeles. I agree. Bigger fish in a smaller pond. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. So you would tell, you would recommend. But I think that's here. coming to an end because a lot of people are moving to Atlanta or making it their second home. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. Right. Yeah. The traffic. Yeah. I think it's going to get more expensive to live. <laughs> it is. It's, it's already happening. more expensive, it's right. I mean, it's still not in L.A. No, it's no. still not or L.A. New or New York. Or New York. Lord. I knew somebody lived in New York. They li they rented an apart. They rented a room in an apartment. I'm like, what? <laughs> New York, <laughs> having lived in all three, I would definitely say New York is the most expensive. I mean, yes. you have to go over a toll, take a pay for a toll Absolutely. bridge. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you live in the Bronx mm -hmm. and your boyfriend lives in Queens and I want to go visit him, how much is it round trip in tolls? It's, it's like a plane hours. ticket. Yeah. yeah, about 30. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> almost a one-way. On it's like a one-way uh, spirit ticket. <laughs> yes. I don't yeah. do the trains. <laughs> oh, oh. 
I don't. Yeah. And you're I from don't. New York. I can't get on that train, sorry. Now yes. or just it's from the beginning? Ever. I've <laughs> <laughs> had too many bad experiences. You never, you never get used to that smell. I don't get <laughs> on the train. I'm too traumatized from people <laughs> strolling through. You got a dollar. Yeah, right. I get I it, can. but do you understand the entertainment that you're missing <laughs> on that train? I've seen it all. I've had I grew up there my whole life. Yeah, I've seen enough for a life. I've seen enough for you. I've seen enough. I've seen a dude do the whole line. King on the train. Oh, <laughs> by himself. <laughs> he, he got some money though, right? Had a cat in his back pocket. Behold. <laughs> by himself. That's hilarious. But I bet you he made some money. Made no, some money. New York has the best hustlers. That's yes. why we can go anywhere. All day. They do. And we can survive anywhere. anywhere. The saying is true. If you can make it there, you can definitely make it anywhere. Absolutely. That's the truth. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, for real. But, uh, okay, so let's talk about you had a show on Revolt. Mm-hmm. Tell, let's talk about distribution. How does that work? How does that happen? I have, we all have shows. Mm-hmm. He's about to do a movie in 83 days. Uh, right? Mm-hmm. Help us. Give us like some like specific you know, instruction or what Well, do you think? I think, you know, when making a show, you need to know who your target audience is. Okay. And then you can say, well, you know, you can narrow it down to a few networks and then really try to reach out to these networks and the programming directors and try to get your stuff over to them. They're always looking for good content. That's mm-hmm. the bottom line. So what uh, what are we getting to them? Are we getting something visual? Are we getting them a little package? I think you can, you know, a lot of people, you know, they shoot pilots and they shoot like a 30-minute show. I feel like if you have a short sizzle of mm-hmm. some really good stuff mm-hmm. and, you know, you have a deck explaining what your show is about and you point out all the strengths, and like I said, even like a five to ten minute sizzle. And I think that's enough. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to waste the money. Doing no, the whole don't. Because I know a lot of people who have wasted money yeah. filming the whole show and a pilot and, and an hour pilot and 30 yeah. minute. Yeah. And yeah. then it might not get picked up. Right. If you have a relationship. Right, right? just yeah. from the deck. Right. Absolutely. Right. I was going to say that. So you don't what even is have to have a sizzle. What is, the, what is the deck? Specific? It's just a summary, a synopsis of what your show is, mm-hmm. what's it about, the length the genre, mm-hmm. all those things. Mm-hmm. And you can you can really sell a show from that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get in the room with the right person and you pitch it correctly, Yes, that sometimes is all it takes. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, can people solicit ideas to you? And you yes, walk they in? <laughs> yes, they can. Oh. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. yes <laughs> they can. Yes, they can. The, That's the, what we the wheels are turning. Yes, the wheels are turning. I, even I got a show yes. called Industry School. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking for stuff, too. I mean, I would love, you know, I love to, you know, get ideas from other people. Mm -hmm. You know, I know right away when something's good. You know, I just have that. Did you get in the room with Diddy to pitch your ideas? I've been in the room with Diddy since 19. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do you pitch your deal to somebody else that handles that? Or no, I pitch them myself. I mean, no, that you pitch to is Diddy like there, or I know he's pitching. No, man. if I'm going to pitch to someone, I'm going to go to the network okay. or a reputable production okay. company. Mm. You know, you have a lot of great ones in Atlanta. Like I said, you have Bobcat Films, you have um, Will Packers. Company, you have Raw Party, who's been yes. on here, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. And you Will have Packer, so yeah. many. Reach out to these production yes. companies, okay? Yeah. So you're you said you have your own production company as well. I do, mm-hmm. I do, and I work for other production companies. But yes, I do have my own production company mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So the production Independent women. Company. I'm trying to be, you know, right. just like the guy. Yeah, yeah. Let us women. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't want to work for them. I want to be just like it's them. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. At the table. At the table. Yeah. At the table. And I'm so proud. There's so many women doing amazing things and Mara Kill and oh, yeah, Shonda yeah. Rhimes and it's just Bernard really Shepherd. inspiring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, exactly. And I'm actually writing for some upcoming good shows this fall, so mm-hmm. I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. So you're like in the writer's room too? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's yes. dope. Get mm-hmm. it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that, you don't see like a, a lot of women you, do you have children? And you know, it's funny because people tell me now that they want to hire women writers. Ooh. So it's like I'm almost yeah, getting right. a job because yeah. they need Different to hire. Yeah. The yeah. networks are saying we want more women writers. Wow. We want to hear their stories. Mm. So We want more caddy. No, I'm just yeah. I'm just so joking. all <laughs> the women writers. <laughs> <I'm playing. laughs> so <laughs> it's a great time for women writers because, like I said, they're like, we actually have to hire you at this point. Do you have, do you have kids? I have a kid. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a kid. So how does how does that work in the film industry with the, the kids? Is that is that tough? Um, no. 
Jesus. Mm-mm, it's it's cool. You know, my son, he's in high school now. Oh, okay. So um, he can pretty much take care right, of his self. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of independent. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you've been in the business for so long, so you, you he was once little. Right. right? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. He's grown up in it. And um, he's, he, he'll come to set with me. I'm to give him a job for the same. <laughs> <Right. laughs> PA, get the coffee, yeah, yeah. and do all that kind Everybody's of stuff. Everybody's giving you your props. She's beautiful. Go Shane. Oh, I'm proud thank of you. you. She's godly, too. Oh, right? okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're a Cardi fan. I like Cardi. I, I like Nicki. I like Car- I like yeah. Remy Ma. She's yeah. from the Bronx too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. like on you know, happy for everyone too? coming out of the Bronx. Yes, let me bust a run. I'm oh. kidding. I'm about to give you a beat. A bar. Right. right. <laughs> Bars. So do you sing as well? Are you triple? Well, right? actually, I was in a singing group um, with a group of girls called Mecca, and oh. we, they, we all danced for Whitney, the four of us. We were all signed to her label. Nice. And oh. actually, a young lady, Kimberly Mays, she just had a tribute um, that she had for us, and it was such an amazing event and she had dancers come and perform all our old routines wow. and just award us and just you know where was really that in LA it was in Atlanta Ooh. it was um last month nice. wow. well, I, guess, I, guess I wish I would have known you all I would have invited yeah. you. I know <laughs> it was an amazing <laughs> tribute <Yeah. laughs> but we, we hear so much scandal about Whitney Houston just tell us some of the best notes or something that she gave you what's the what's the best Oh, that let's maybe see. ever said to you. Mm-hmm. Or maybe Michael Jackson said to you. <laughs> no, Michael Jackson didn't say much, okay? It was like, don't talk to him, don't say <laughs> him. Don't him in the eye. I'm just playing. But um, <laughs> let me see a, a Whitney memory because I work with her I, like about seven years. She just was so f- much fun. She okay. was down to earth. She she would hang out with us all the time. She loved to swim and Ooh. hang out by the pool. Yeah, like a regular so person. Yeah. She was right. so <laughs> regular. She was so down to earth and so much fun. Okay. Bobby too. Yeah. They are well, the still like family. Real, yeah. yeah. So what do you think about like the Bobby Brown story and you know these bi- biopics? And because yeah, I saw the commercial and th- the commercial he's doing cocaine in the commercial. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, well, they in just the trailer. <laughs> in the trailer. <laughs> oh my God. Cocaine in the trailer. I'm like, okay. Well, this make you tune in, probably, the, right. This is gonna I be serious. I think they just really like to focus on you know negative? the negative really because as many years as I've worked for him, I didn't see that. Okay. Like, wow. I think that was just, like, really a small... Even if it was, it's like... Okay, why yeah. focus on it? There's so many wonderful things, things that he it, did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I performed with him on the American Music Awards, Soul Train Awards. I performed with him around the world, and, I mean, he just sold out arenas. Um, I think we went to Japan. He sold out, like, two weeks wow. in a row. So, yeah. I hope they yeah. focus on remember? some of that. I can't get a, I can sell out a bar down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, with the story, it's, it's like it, it seems like they're just telling a more well-rounded story, like because the new edition story was like banging with that. So um, it was good. The yeah, new edition. Yeah, yeah, did you like the new edition story? It, it I did. Yeah. I'm a yeah. huge fan yeah. of the new yeah. edition. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I was definitely a fan of. I would have taken any one of them. Ronnie, yeah. Bobby, yeah. 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 like girl who cares who you like. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no. <laughs> so was it? Let me ask you this. Is it? Do you think in this business it's relationships? That's you, would you suggest people just network and build relationships because that's how you get your gigs? Like that's to part of it, but I don't want people to feel like if I don't have a relationship, I can't get my stuff out there or I can't succeed. That's how it seems, so. But now with the internet, you don't have to have a relationship. Right. You just have to have a lot of likes, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and a lot of views and a lot of followers. So it's really a different time. Mm-hmm. I had to get out there, and if you see them in the club, you better jump in front of them and start. You know, <laughs> 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 I couldn't just post. Line. Right, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that Bobby Brown? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here but go. did you get your Bobby Brown gig because you worked with Whitney, or which one was first? Bobby Brown was definitely oh. first, and then he married her, and she was basically like, honey, let me borrow your dancers. Oh. That's how it happened, yeah. So. That's pretty cool. That's mm-hmm. dope. Mm-hmm. That's, that time, the 90s, right? I mean, no, the 80s. No, uh, that was the oh, 90s. 90s. I think I was right now. I know. It was almost oh, 2000, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. it was almost 2000 yeah. when I stopped dancing for her, actually. It was, what? yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the other day, really. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it. Seems she like was around for a minute. I know, it seems <laughs> like, like the other day, but yeah. 18 years. Older. I know. Right. That's what it is. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so we're um, a part of the, at this part of the show where we always think of, we see our guests and we figure out like what kind of movie, what's our favorite movie for, oh, sorry, you know. You're genre. never going to guess what my favorite movie is. Well, no, 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 no. The we genre? No, well, we, no okay. we give you the genre. Right. Okay. We give you the genre because okay. you're working on, you just finished a documentary. Right. It's mm-hmm. wrapped. It's all done? Yes. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, what's your favorite documentary? We all got to figure out what's our favorite so documentary. What's your favorite documentary? Right. Do you have mm. a favorite documentary? Okay. Did you watch a lot of documentaries to prepare for this one? No, but I do watch like series, like documentaries. Like I hate to say this, but I love like Dateline, Forty Eight Hour yeah, Mysteries. Yeah, yeah. On TV One, you have Fatal Attraction. I've yeah. probably seen every episode. Because those are like mini documentaries, yeah, right? Yeah, real like yeah, mini docu yeah. docu series. Docu series. I like docu series. Yeah. So no specific. Do you can you think of one? Hmm. All right, let's Lucius. Do you have one? The uh, one, okay, the uh, 20 Feet, the one with the backup singers was really good. Did you see that oh, one? With, uh, 20 Feet, what's the name of it? Oh, gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about. 20 Feet from, or 50, uh, uh, with, with like Lisa, the girl who sang background for like Luther, Luther Van. They actually won an Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. one won a Grammy. I gotta and watch that. I think it was she 50 won, yeah. Feet from no. 20 Feet. And it's yeah. about Something. the background dancers. It's about the, no, back, the background singers. singers. So this, the one that I'm working on is similar because it's about, you know, working behind, you know, names, yeah. celebrities. Yeah. All the people in documentary have worked for, like, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince, Janet yeah. Jackson. Yeah. 20 so these 20 feet from stardom. So yeah. these are singers yeah. who so have performed they are, they for, like, there. the Rolling right Stones. Yeah. 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 So what it was like. So And they won an Oscar. Oh, it yeah. was yeah. really interesting. Yeah, it's a great. It's on Netflix, you guys? Yeah? Okay, 20 feet from stardom. I got to watch that. So what's your favorite documentary? There was a docu series. I can't remember my name either, but the one with um, Ice Cube, the one he, he fought Ice Cube and Levine. Oh, you're talking about uh, oh Jimmy. Jimmy Levine. That was really oh, that good. Was yeah. That was excellent. That was dope. That, that was, was inspiring, was wasn't, awesome. it? wasn't it? It truly. It's like was. I need a Jimmy Levine Dr. in my life. Dre. Dr. Dre. What's his name? Ivy. No, but it's not uh, Jimmy uh, Ivy. Right? Yeah, you're gonna yeah, yeah, call yeah, him yeah, Levine. Yeah. You're gonna it's get his name right. You're gonna put some respect on his name. No respect on his name. The fine one. The fine one. It was amazing. Yes. It was amazing. He's incredible. Yes. And he just had an eye. For stars, yeah, mm-hmm. the whole how dedicated the, he was, mm-hmm. right? The whole right. beat story about Dre yeah. and the beats was yeah. just incredible. Because yeah. what did Dre want to do? He wanted to do sneakers or something. Yeah, well, that's like they not. kept coming to him. It was like, nah, yeah. He's like, nah, yeah. you need like, to do. You need to do. Like he's just brilliant, right? You're right. Music, dude. He's he's right. amazing. Yeah, that was a great one. Okay, how about you? Uh, can we get back to me? Uh, I'm to <laughs> okay, we'll skip you. What about you? Mine was don't use mine. Thirteenth. Okay. 13th. Yeah, what? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That was one of my favorite doc, uh, that was really good. documentaries. And there's another one where it was this. That's what jail was. Where it was this guy. Yeah. Where, yeah, this guy who who they thought committed murder. And it, it was like about. Who? I think I was on Netflix. Khalid? Okay, that's well. probably my favorite one. Yeah. yeah. The Khalid? The I forgot the Khalid brought us. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was really good. Yeah. Jay-Z produced that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that was Have you seen that one? That was really good. Uh, sad. No, it's it was, yeah, it was depressing. It's very awful. sad. Yeah. Yeah. I thought That's you were talking about there's another one on there Netflix is another where they one followed the, the guy who was and, and they thought he ma- mm-hmm. that they killed his girlfriend Friend, or something yeah, like that. And right? Yeah. No, I, I was talking about that one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's what I thought. That. Yes. That was like. Well, we talked about Zach. And what is your favorite movie? Of all time. Oh, of all geez. time. One of your. You don't. I know. You probably have more than one. My top five. <laughs> Your top two. Get the first one that comes to to to. The first one that comes to mind. Grease. Okay. Greece. It would have to be Love Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Jones Love Jones is a good one. Love, uh, Jones. Sure. Love Jones is yours. Yep. Watch this, watch this, drink, watch this. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And he's, uh, man. You got too much going <laughs> on <laughs> today. Oh, no. It's, it's kind no. of. No. Like, it's, 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 it's so funny. It's so funny. Don't show them. We have Grease. No, Grease. We have Love Jones. Love Jones. Good fellas. Good fellas. I love gangster movies. Mine's just Overboard. Does anyone know that movie? And they just, there's a remake of it out now. Overboard. Who's the star of it? Goldie Hawn and Kurt. I love that's that a movie. Kurt yeah. Russell. Yeah. Kurt Russell. Yeah. Yeah. Kurt Russell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But right now, currently, together? there's a re... No. Did they just break up? Or they were together for years. Like about yeah. 20... Yeah. I feel yeah. like they yeah. just broke up. I could oh. be wrong. I feel like Wendy Williams. Allegedly. <laughs> 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 Let me not put anything out here. And allegedly. And then we have industry scoop scoops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I haven't seen it. So that's a classic. 
some I love that one. Have, why Did do you, you love it? Really? So is it a love story? Huh? Yes, it's a love story. It's funny. It makes you cry. It makes you laugh all at the same time. And speaking of movies, I'm excited to see Oceans 8. Yes. 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 That comes out this weekend. Eight. With Rihanna. Yes. Rihanna. Yes. Rihanna. Block that. That's alpaca. Okay, yeah. so Julia yes. Julia Roberts wasn't in it. It just seemed like she should have done a cameo. Julia Roberts? Because she, she was, was in, in the men. Yeah. She was in the men one. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, that's done right. a so I asked about? someone a question because you have all these great actresses in it. Kate Blanchett, yeah. and Sandra. Sandra Bullock. I'm just wondering why didn't they use a black, you know, an actress, actress, a known Rihanna? Oh, Rihanna's she's the only a one. singer. I was you just know? about she's to ask you that. How, how do you, you feel, feel about yeah. those? But she's a gangster, so that's why they was like. Someone was like, it's Rihanna. You know, you can get Rihanna, you feel but where's Taraji or Gabrielle? You know, why didn't we get an actress? Because that's another Issue that we that's another issue, though. Yeah. Like, remember, remember in the '90s when when rappers were taking all the good roles from mm -hmm. actors. Yeah. Like ja Rule. Ja Rule was taking roles. Yes. Yeah. Remember that? Ja that's all right. He could have kept those said, roles. He could have kept. It's so wrong because everybody said Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. He was in those movies, though. Yeah. DMX. 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 Ja yeah. But yeah. we do have some superstars that came. We have Ice Cube, Will Smith. Mm -hmm. So we can't just say, you know, That's we, true. It's we like got some really great actors from that yeah. stage. I, I feel like the, the difference is the, the, the Will Smiths mm -hmm. and, and people like that, they, they took this craft seriously. Yeah. They didn't study. That's I, I, what I was studied. Are you saying Ja Rule didn't take it seriously? I'm not saying he didn't take it seriously, <laughs> but like I'm pretty, he was I'm being put in man. roles. <laughs> He was being put in roles without even, he was just getting put in roles. He wasn't. Just because of his name, because who yeah. he was. It's, it's like, business. It's, super it's, talented. it's like what I do. It's, it's a business talented. now. Yeah, really it's like what I do. I, I do stand up comedy, and there's people that, that are popping on the internet and just get to jump the line. They like, don't, they like don't, they haven't gone through, the, they have not gone through the fire. They don't know how to do what I do, right. but they just they just get, skip the line. Because that yeah. goes back to the Instagram. Yes, yes right, right. The social it's media. Because you're popping online. That needs to be a show. Mm -hmm. you know, there may be a talk about it. Let's, yeah. let's link that up. A topic here on industry yeah. scoop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, we we cried and talked about that a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. And, we, and we and we've had some in the, some um some uh, IG stars on here. Okay. So. And but we do have really talented people on IG, and this yeah. is just their time. Yeah. This, this is their time. Way it is. We can't yeah. hate on them because no, we can't. Yeah. We can't. We can, but we should. The process is different. That's why. Process is different. As a producer, do you think? Okay. They, they have a million followers. I'm going to get them to be in my movie. I hear it all the time. I, they definitely look at that. Yeah. Absolutely. When they are casting, they look at how many yeah. followers do you have on it. I hate to say it, but they absolutely it's a, do. It's a real world, right? Exactly. And then they consider the reality stars that's bringing this one, that one. They mm -hmm. absolutely do. Who have not taken Not for the real Who have taken an not for the real TV no. fish. They don't want that. Rihanna is just in Ocean's A, right? No, 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 no but she's not reality. You tell me. Yeah, she's not reality. She's not the actress. She's a superstar. She's a bona fide She is a superstar, yeah. but she's not, she hasn't gone through the fire. An actress like how, that. How, how, how like do you know that? She has not gone through the fire. She's been in a few movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't tell me. because of her name. I like how they feel about that Taraji and Gabrielle and mm -hmm. But they're in but they're, they're in movies. The and they're, they're all in the same oceans. movies over that's and over again. They're, they're in movie. black movies. Yeah, yeah, that's a big But you movie. get in where you fit in, don't you? Exactly. Well we talked about that earlier with Michael B. Jordan. How do you feel about that as an actor? I, as an actor, I, I just feel I'm gonna get my regardless. But you're a producer hey. too though. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. I'm a producer. Exactly. So it's it's right now you can literally bring somebody on with a with a fan base that you don't have to build. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So that's one of the so reasons why. But then again, that, that person has never taken an acting class. But now, if good do, they take they do, do they take away from your product? But, li but listen, if they're good at what they do, it doesn't matter. Right. So they should audition well, and book it. I'm just not being real about it. It's just like if somebody's just good. Just a natural. But yeah. there's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of great. Yeah. I know a lot of great actresses, mm -hmm. and they just they get, don't. They get right. look exactly. past them. They don't get the time of day. They don't get the time of day. Unless they don't have social media. That's why. Yeah, because you could see, a, you could watch a white movie 
and not I one of them is a star. Right. <laughs> right. None of them is a star, and it's a good movie. You're right. like, you're into it. And they break people that way. That's yes. how you make stars. Exactly. But, but is it the fact that we're not doing it, or Hollywood isn't doing that? Because of the fact that I know for a fact that we're, what yeah, we're producing, we're can. bringing some people along. Right, and mm-hmm. they say, no, we it, don't you want You know what I mean? Well, we're just getting in those positions and, to and, do and, it now. And producers like Ava DuVernay and all that, she's bringing in people mm-hmm. that you didn't see before. Right. True. So, so, I, so it's happening we're for us. Sugar. We yeah, just have, have to get in those else. positions right. Right. to do so. We have to get too those many, positions. Too many people. I agree. Okay. Well, I mean, that's why we have people unlike you. Amen. That are in the business, producers, production company. Right, absolutely. How do people follow you online? The girl Shane. Girl and you know what's so funny when I run They're like, oh, that girl Shane. I'm like, no, it's <laughs> no, not that. No, it's like, you know, girl. when everyone, they talk about, they're like, when they say Shane, they're like, the girl Shane? That's how it came about. Uh, it's a boy's name, uh, so people get confused. Uh, what do you like guys going this girl weekend? Shane. We gotta try to find out who's going. I'm going to see Ocean State. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. She um, she's she's good. Right. So what do you got going on this weekend? <laughs> I'm filming. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. tell us about what you're filming. Uh, we're doing 83 Days, which is the story of George Stinney Jr., which back in uh, 1944, Alcaloo, South Carolina, he was the youngest person put to death by execution at the age of 14 for a crime he didn't commit. He was exonerated 70 years later. After wow. he was already dead. Of course. Wow. Yeah. So why did they keep the, the investigation going? Or just so Oh, uh, well, happened. Well, actually, the, one of the writers, uh, that's one of the producing writers, uh, he was part of the getting the legal team together to to have this happen. It's like his family just wanted to make Right, because the family was already pushing for it, mm-hmm. and, and then he kind of got involved with it as well, and, and then uh, it was, because it was swept under the rug for a very long time. Right. It's a story that, I, why I got involved was I'd never heard it before. I'm mm-hmm. like, why do I know not know about a 14-year-old boy, less than 90 pounds, was electrocuted? Because well, it was 20 years, I mean, you know, in the 1920s, right? In 1940, 1944. 1940. You know. What do you got going this weekend? Um, what weekend is it? Out? Um, yeah, I'm partied out. Right. <laughs> Were you 21? Yes, I'm finally 21. Oh, my God. Hanging with the kids on South Beach. Shots. She had to live shot, all shot. weekend. She'll live. Don't act like you were, you were, I was weak. I was on the beach like three days a week. Yeah, that's what I was doing. You were on the beach all week. Yeah, that's what I was doing. You were on the beach like this. And I wasn't doing nothing. Cool. What are you doing this weekend? Uh... Uh, nothing work-wise. I'm going to do yeah. the midnight bike run here in Atlanta uh, oh, tomorrow night. Awesome. Yeah, they, they have an annual. On the belt line? Uh, it's not going to be all of them. They shut, they're shutting streets down. There's probably so a couple bad. thousand yeah. people out there. You have to have yeah. your own bike or you rent a bike? You, you can rent a bike if you mm-hmm. want to. But, yeah, that's, so that's going down tomorrow. So that's tomorrow, tomorrow night? night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Bike run. That sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. It's in the city. Yeah. It's in the city, yeah. Is it like a website that you can register? You can go online and register. You can find it on Instagram, but yeah, look up the Midnight Bike Run. Midnight Bike Run? Mm-hmm. Midnight That's Bike Run. Cool. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, oh. Ocean Date is coming out this yeah. week. So okay. yeah. Yeah. And another cool thing they got, have y'all seen the scooters? Like when yeah, the, the birds. Yes. I, did, I, just, I just downloaded the app. <laughs> yes. I just yeah. downloaded so you can it. Just re- Atlanta's trying to be like New I'm York. Like, why didn't I think of that? They yeah. have a lot of activities here. Now, Man, now they do. We, we oh, now they do. So yeah, you can rent you can rent scooters and just scooters. go all over the city. Just leave them, and leave them anywhere. What you mean, leave them anywhere? You just leave them anywhere. How do you find them? You, you have GPS. The app, the app tell you where they at. And they have wow. GPS. On Get out of town! Nobody's gonna no. steal it. Nobody they can't steal them. it. You can't. Well, because it's a GPS in it. Yeah. No, because yeah, it's locked. Once unless you go and got the app and you put. Your oh credit card and app, you can't dope. want them to start up. We need to start taking scooters everywhere. Yeah. yeah. How, How much is it? it? I know. It's like, it's uh, really inexpensive. Like 50 cent. They should. Yeah. 50 cent. Really really yeah. It's really inexpensive. Yeah. It's really inexpensive. That might be I'm lit that, for that's real. Like well, I don't, know, I, don't, don't I don't know if you going to want to be on the street. Street. Yeah, I just see some girls oh. on it. Oh. When I was driving oh. up here. Yeah, not, not, motor, not motorized scooters. When I was driving oh, up here, I see girls. Scooters. Right. No, 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 electric. Scooting. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we got motor- scooters. There's motorized scooters. Motorized. It's motorized. Yeah, they're like, motorized, hey. but they're electric. <laughs> <laughs> scooting. No, that would be a hot mess. I'll scoot to the but bathroom. They're electric like, right. scooters, but well, not fast enough to be in the street. Oh, well, that's not good. That's our show for the evening. Thank you so much for coming, Shane. Thank you, Lucius. We appreciate you. So, so fun. This is Industry Scoop every Thursday, 1 to 2 o'clock. We'll be back next week. One more exciting guest. Yes. Bye. Industry Scoop. And we're clear. And we're clear. Let's have a little bit of producer. I'm so sorry about that. No, and last week it broke. Oh my God! You know what I mean?
don't believe I'm going to No, 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 no. The leg is there. No, the yeah. couch. The there, oh, this, the, the one of these chairs is prompt. literally oh, fell apart. Like, that was crazy. There. The couch. How do I, the, how do I the, end it? That wasn't my fault. And call. make it change. Okay. Sorry, nothing is off. Oh, end? No, you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's hilarious. She don't like to read. Right. So me? I know. And that's like, beet juice, so you know. Oh, that's like dye. God. That's like that natural dye. Right. That beet, beet juice. juice. Oh, yeah, that ain't going like nowhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That ain't going nowhere. The hot mess in here. Good man. Uh, Somebody need some clip box? No, Shane, you was up here doing the real dances. Nowadays dances. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, still a dancer. I know. You still a dancer. Yes, I can still do all of that. <laughs> You can shoot. How do you, I, do it the 40, knee, I do it the 40 way. My knee will be able to go out. <laughs> That's the 40. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot. Right. No jumping in love. Just. All right, so I'm going to take these stairs, chairs. We always do this, um, Sean. Because you're cage in the middle of the hamburger. I'll uncage him in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, you <he> didn't. <laughs> single you can be the dating game 